Hey guys, I'm just Jershin. Welcome back to episode 69 of the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Nice! Nice! That's, that's chat. That's you guys. That's you guys type in the comments right now. Um, look. Have I been having a great time with Isaac lately? As the last week or so has been not stunning. <laughs> As evidenced by the negative two win streak, uh, we've had some really bad runs. And even last time when we played as Azazel to try to ease the suffering, I took anti-grav. Uh, is that what I took? Yeah, anti-grav like a dummy. And just prolonged my suffering even longer. Um, we did, thankfully... Oh, look at him. We did, thankfully, unlock Tainted Azazel. Um... I said I was gonna try every tainted character, so we're gonna we'll give him a go. Um please tell me he's not I mean like tell me he's just as broken as regular Azazel and I'll be very happy. Tainted Azazel! What you got for me? He's got broken horns. He still has brimstone. Why is it a little thin boy brimstone? Okay, he's got a little thin boy brimstone. Is that the only oh he can't fly? I'm already no okay, he cannot fly. I'm uh, giving the tears down right off the bat. I hate this game. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck was that? What it? How did I do that? Oh, I think I hate that. Um, so he's got like a little half charge. Um, if you don't charge your brimstone down all the way, which is probably gonna happen to us fairly often, he. He does like a shotgun. He does like a, not like a stabbing a fork into the side of a beer can. Which I've never done, because I don't really understand it, to be honest with you. Like, why? Is it, aren't you like, I mean, I guess the answer is to get intoxicated very quickly and not to be like a Debbie boring downer or anything. But like, isn't that like a waste of money to, you spent, is this a double tinted rock right here? You spent all that money on beer and you're just gonna waste it by drinking it in 3.2 seconds? Okay, not trying to be like a Debbie Downer, but like also that, and also like that's so many calories so quickly. Just sip and savor, baby. Just sip and savor. Let's do our boss fight. It is bloited ovum. This fight should be fairly easy. So it's like the exact opposite of um, regular Azazel. Okay, normal Azazel. Fudge. Normal Azazel. I like bone hearts. <clears throat> normal Azazel has horrible range, uh, but a wide brimstone. This boy's got infinite range, but a little thin boy, which honestly, like, isn't that big a deal. It's kind of just like shooting technology, right? If anything, this is... That's got some crazy knockback on it. If anything, this is just closer... Who says Tainted Azazel can't fly? <laughs> Your potions are so strong, I... What? How does that go? I don't remember. Well, we're not gonna be able to test if it is, in fact, a double tinted rock. And we're not even gonna be able to get the main tinted rock because I've been given no bombs. Because... That is how the Isaac works. It's so hot, I should have turned down the AC. Turned up the AC? You turn... I don't know what the correct pronunciation there. I should have turned the temperature down because it is hot as all get up in here um so yeah here's the thing i'm just gonna play this character as if he's just got regular brimstone the sneeze is kind of interesting the sneeze is kind of interesting it'll probably help with like speed running like like it'll probably help with like beating the game more quickly but as you can see there it's a little too dangerous Okay, we are swimming in keys. I would love some bombs. Between the bounciness of it and how close I have to get, if you thought other Azazel had to get close to deal damage, that boy's got to get way too close. I will take Ace of Spades. I think it gives us better cards. I've been thinking, by the way. Let me know if... Um, let me know your... Thank you, by the way, for the bombs. Let me know your opinion of this. Um... We're not going to use that just yet. Or potentially ever, but definitely not yet. Let me know your opinion on this, because I've been thinking about activating... 
There is a mod for Isaac that does not affect your achievement progress, which is very nice. Um, this is probably second secret room, I'm guessing. There is... Wow. There is a mod for the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Uh, I think it's called the Item Description Mod, and what it does is essentially anytime you walk into a room and there's a trinket or a card or a pill or whatever, there's a little HUD indicator on screen that'll give you a description of what the thing does. I've been considering using it for a while now. The main thing that's been stopping... The main thing that's been stopping me from using it is I don't want to spoil new items. Um, if a new item pops up that I've never seen before, I want to experience the cool thing that it does. If it's a cool thing that it does, maybe it's not a cool thing that it does. Sure, we'll star this card. I want to experience the cool thing that it does in real time. I don't want to see like a new deal with the devil item and then the description be like, plus 5,000 damage. And then I'm like, that's cool, but why'd you tell me? <laughs> you know, alternatively, I did not mean to pick up shade. I did not mean to pick up shade. Um... I did not mean to pick up Shade. I'm really hoping we can get an HP upgrade either from this guy or from our deal with the devil. Be or from our boss fight because I would like to pick up Guppy's head. <laughs> and not Shade. Let's go ahead and Stars card be daddy. That's unfortunate. I don't really want that, but I used all of my monies. I used all of my monies. Um, however, on the flip side... You know, I've been playing this game for a dang long time, and there's still so many cards and items and, and and trinkets and random things. Especially stuff that got added in, like, Afterbirth Plus that I just never bothered to learn how to use properly or, like, what they did. There's so many things that I, like, don't actually know what they do that I think it would be really nice to learn what they do. Figure out what you do, etc. Um... So from that perspective, I'm like, maybe I should put the item description mod on. Because it might be nice to actually be able to pick up one of these random items. Thank you. And be like, what is it exactly that you do here? Thank you. We will take Guppy's Eye. Um, we are doing a deal with the devil run, apparently. Um, I don't really want Varicose Fades. So we got one bomb. One bomb in a dream. That is really bad, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even charge it. It gets charges on hits, maybe? Maybe on, like, ticks of damage? I don't know. That seems really bad. So we pr obviously don't want to keep this. Um, I love Guppy's Eye, dude. That's a, that's a skip a rooney for me. Maybe not atrocious. Maybe surprisingly not atrocious, but probably not as strong as just hitting it with brimstone. Now we're talking! Now we're talking! Yes! A fun run! Finally! They exist! I've heard rumors of these. We definitely want to try to get Alabaster Box. I've heard rumors of these way back in the an annals of Isaac history. An, ex an interesting synergy! Not just base damage, base tears, and a bunch of familiars. It does exist! Okay, so I'm very excited. Uh, obviously, we've had uh, rubber, cement, brimstone before. But we've never had rubber, cement, thin, little, skinny boy brimstone before. So that's kind of new. You know, and exciting in its own way. Um, it's very good. Let's go ahead and throw that out there. If we can get Tammy's head instead of Isaac's Jar of Tears, which is like dollar store version of Tammy's head. If we can get real Tammy's head, this run is it will be a, a smashing success. Uh, not that it's not already. Hermit card already went to the shop, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we will not be taking that. Um, 
What else would be kind of sick? Dude, I like just like kind of slapping them away. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Um, homing tears would be pretty cool. No doubt about it. Yes, sir. Homing tears would be pretty cool. Would still love to get Alabaster Box. Um, if we think that's maybe doable. Gonna require a little bit more money. We could bomb the donation machine. And are we really gonna get enough Spirit Hearts to make it worth my while? Wow. Okay, now we're swimming in Spirit Hearts, which is very exciting. Thank you. What we got going on in here? That's a no-go for me, brother. I already have those, kind of. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, I'm at seven minies. Uh, we probably want to try to do boss rush. I'm holding on to the Suicide King card, by the way. Just, like, praying that I will. But today, I am still just a bill. I'm basically just praying that we end up getting something uh, like nine lives, for example. Nine lives seems like it'd be pretty good for us. Ace of clubs, sure, send them. That's really not what I wanted to do. I really... <laughs> I really was hoping to just turn the enemies into Swiss cheese. And by Swiss cheese, I mean bombs. Uh, and instead, I turned all of the good consumables that I wanted to pick up so that I could probably get Alabaster Box into them. But that's okay. You know, no biggie. That's not a problem. Not a problem. Um, I'm excited. <clears throat> For several reasons. Well, this is not. I am going on vacation next week. I, I figure I should go ahead and let you guys know. I'm going to try to get enough epis recorded ahead of time. And if if you've been... It's unfortunate. If you've been following along, you probably already kind of see the uh, the current schedule um, has changed ever so slightly. Uh, we are basically... It's pretty sweet. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to purchase this spirit heart. Thank you. Now, obviously, we don't get to keep the spirit hearts, which is a little scary, but all we gotta do is charge this bad boy up, and we will be very happy that we did. Um, <clears throat> I'm going on vacation next week, which is very exciting. It'll be the first time for me in a, in a while that I've gone on a real vacation. Um, I kind of went on, like, a, a half vacation... Towards the latter half of last year, like July, August-ish of last year, um, with the fam. And I say kind of because I was still working at that last job at the time. Um, a job which often touted unlimited vacation time, but then if you tried to take vacation time, they would just call you and text you and email you 24-7. Where are you? Everything's exploding! Um... So you never, like, actually got to relax on a vacation or something. Um, I heard Broken Modem is really good now. It's water dumped on a stick. It's really good. Um, I've heard Broken Modem is very good now, so I'm going to buy it. I'm gonna buy it. I've decided, uh, one thing I have noticed as we've been losing a lot of runs lately, look at them, I'm getting all frozen, dude. Now, I used to hate Broken Modem because anything that adds un... No. Anything that adds unpredictability into my Isaac run is a really bad time. By the way, this is still a... If we weren't uh, Tainted Azazel here, this run would still be atrocious. We have gotten... Uh, that's really good. Uh, <laughs> run's trying to get me to shut up before I can get this out. We've gotten Metronome and Jar of Tears in two of our item rooms thus far. Oh, I can leave. Uh, and in one of them, what did we get? We rerolled Varicose Veins. Was that into Jar of Tears? Battery doesn't work. Um, rubber Cement by itself, not like a 10 out of 10 item. It's only 10 out of 10 because we have Brimstone. So, woo baby! Um, you can thank Tainted Azazel for the fact that this run is good because if we were any other character, I would be punching Cement right now. Um... Yeah, the last job sucked. <laughs> I've talked about that many a time. Um, and I'm excited to not be working there anymore. Do I check back from time to time to see how the game that they're working on is doing? Spoiler alert, it's flopping horrifically. And get like a 
a slight sense of glee out of it? No, that would be childish and immature, and I don't do that. If you're a future employer uh, watching this for some reason, then you didn't hear that. Um, but yeah, I hated working there. And uh, this is my first time to, I'll be taking a vacation at like a real company that's like, hey, don't even bring your work laptop to Florida with you, which is where I'm going, by the way. Um, don't even bring your work laptop. You are off. Work-life balance is actually a thing. We don't just say the words work-life balance to try to get some suckers to to work at our company. We, like, actually respect it, which I'm excited for. We'll see if it's true. We'll, we'll see if I get down there and my phone starts blowing up, but thus far, they have been nothing but wonderful to me, so I have to assume it's, in fact, true. But I am going to Florida, which is not exciting. Um, Florida's popping off in terms of the Delta variant of COVID right now, which so is Missouri. So, like, honestly, I'm probably, like, just as... It's probably just as dangerous, if not safer, for me to be going to Florida than for me to stay in Missouri, uh, where the state just uh, pa passed a mask mandate and then overturned it within three days three whole days and the tyranny i can't i can't you're taking my okay look we're not trying to get <laughs> we're not trying to roast anybody here um apologies but also if you can't wear a mask for like three hours or even like five minutes at a time then you may actually be three years old okay down to the next floor i'd like to make boss rush uh, so I'm going to Florida, which is not the most exciting, but at least it's a week off of work. It does make, um, this, this week of work has been interesting. Um, wow. And by interesting, I mean, when you know you have a vacation on the horizon, it's really tough to not just be like counting down the days until you leave for the vacation, even when you got stuff to do. Bearcano, I'm just gonna hold on to for a little bit. I'm really nervous about accidentally activating the Suicide King card. Now I'm gonna hold on to this pill instead. So I just wanna make sure I got something else there just to be safe. By the way, cannot... Scumbag. Cannot help but notice a... Robo Baby rerolls consumables on the floor. It does not seem that exciting to me personally. I'll pick up Robo Baby though. Um, yeah, it'll be nice just to like turn off my brain for a little bit of period of time, which I have not done in a while. Um, so that's refreshing and I'm excited to do that. Blue Baby Soul, not really what I'm looking for. Um, I'm gonna try, keyword being try, because that's why I said try. I'm gonna try to have videos for you guys the entire week I'm gone. Do not worry, the soul link will be going up. Um, those we have been pre-recording all week, so those are good to go. The only ones, I do like member card, and I have a lot of bombs. <laughs> um, the only ones that are a little iffy, come on, hook me up. Frick yeah, baby. Frick yeah. Um, obviously, I want Abaddon. Hopefully, all of the spirit hearts from Abaddon don't just go charge Alabaster Box, because that'd be pretty bad. I'm going to just bully this donation machine. Straight up bully this donation machine. Two. One more. Great stuff. Thank you. We will take Abaddon. Hopefully, I don't die from this. I did not die, but uh, Alabaster Box did get a whole bunch of charge there, uh, which is good. We're almost fully charged, and then we can move on to a new space bar. Um, yeah, not necessarily excited to be going to Florida, although this, this trip in particular has been a long time in the making. We've been... We tried to initially do this trip to Florida last June, which obviously got coveted. And then that got moved to this past June, which it seemed like was going to be perfect because COVID started to take a little bit of a break. But then our Airbnb called us and was like, hey, oh, baby, wait, we're not going to get those spirit hearts, but 
we do get to pop alabaster box now the question is does alabaster box just give you to deal with the angel items or does it give you two items from the pool of the room that you're in i don't remember to be frank barone with you So I'm gonna wait to go into a deal with the devil and then I'm gonna pop it in the deal with the devil. Because the answer is I don't know. I don't care. Um, yeah, then our Airbnb was like, hey, you remember that cool trip you had planned uh, in like three weeks? Uh, you can't go anymore because I said so. But then they were like, hey, but we can get you in for free in August. And we were like, yeah, that'll be amazing. Free trip. Uh, and then COVID's back. So <laughs> Dolly is amazing. I am I should be able to actually just pick up the spirit hearts now, right? Yes. Great stuff. Succubus is amazing. Okay. So it's only one. Go to the next floor. It's only one angel deal item. Do I think that candle item is actually worth? Well, I don't know. We haven't really been taking that much damage. So we would expect to get a pretty decent tears up from all this jazz. Fuck down a retro vision. Not very exciting. Um... We could maybe make boss rush here. The question is, am I strong enough to do boss rush? That's a little dicier for sure. <laughs> that is a little dicier for sure. Tower card, not really what I'm looking for. Not really what I'm looking for. Trying to just zoom, zoom, zoom here. What was that, the Volkswagen commercial? Volkswagen? We used to say zoom, zoom, zoom. I got a minute. I got a minute. <laughs> no! Of course. And there goes my tears upgrade. We'll build. We'll rebuild. We'll rebuild. Now, if it's going to cause you to die, do not force boss rush. You can always steal an item. You can always steal an item. Take the fool card. You can always steal an item. Okay. You can always steal an item. I don't think we're going to be strong enough. Oh, just barely too slow. Just barely too slow which is a huge shame take this <sighs> fool card out all right we'll explore the rest of the floor like good boys now that's a shame we were like 15 seconds just to just too little too slow unfortunately to make that work um but honestly i don't know unless we got an amazing item from in there I don't know that we are strong enough to actually beat boss rush anyway so probably just as fine not doing it as as doing it um all right what do we need now well we've still only gotten one guppy item we would like to get two more if possible i'll play this guy a little bit I'll play this guy a little bit okay <laughs> Um, we'd like to get certainly a little bit more HP. Um, don't, don't think you, you gotta be crazy to think we could use a little bit more on the spirit heart front. Thank you. Now I'm going to instantly trade the spirit heart away. Come trade away. Come trade away. We could do, it'd be kind of funny to do the dogma fight on this run. Um, blank rune. It'd be kind of funny to do the dogma fight on this run when we haven't even been able to successfully do it with regular Zazel. This is a pretty strong run. Come sail away. 
Come sail away. Do I want to do the dogma fight? Not really. I don't really feel like doing the dogma fight. What you got down here for me? Ew. <laughs> the dogma fight. You know what? <laughs> Am I going to do the dogma fight? I mean, we gotta do it eventually anyway, right? Why not do it now? Why not do it now? I am gonna have to leave Curved Horn behind. This feels like a little bit of a waste because this is a really good run. Let's freaking go for it, dude. Who cares? Let's just do it. I'm going all the way to the wall this time. Let's make up for the last one. I just we haven't we haven't killed the beast in such a long time. I just want to taste a little bit of success again. All right. Now, unfortunately, unless I gain the ability to carry two trinkets, we are not going to We are not going to be able to carry that. Hanged man doesn't do much for me except for potentially saving my finger from accidentally hitting the Q button. And suicide dinging myself, so that's good for me. Um, I'd still love a nine lives play, though it's unlikely. Probably our best chance of nine lives happening. Probably our best chance of nine lives happening is uh, inside of our shop, inside of the members area. Ew. <laughs> Just... This run has been filled with some of the grossest spacebar items of all time. Thank goodness everything else has been really good. BFF could be good. I think I want it all. I want it all. And I want it now. It's a steam shale, baby. Gonna take everything you own. Does it work down here? Oh, baby. Uh, that's rather exciting. That's rather exciting for me personally. A little bit of half price blue cap. A little bit of half price blue cap never hurt anybody. All right. Our donation machine has taken a beating on this run. But here's the thing. Why do we fall, Master Wayne, to get back up again? Why did we fill up the donation machine? To help us in future runs. This is just the game helping us in future runs. Um, this is just past Josh putting away his money in a... A nice CD, pulling it out when he's 300 years old and it's gained 25 cents. And you say, whoa, nice, I'm going to buy one stick of Wrigley gum. Oops, just kidding, the year is now 2085 and one stick of Wrigley gum is $300. And also you have to pray to Jeff Bezos before you actually can take the stick of gum because he makes it now and he puts it directly into your mouth, but not until you give him 300 of them first. Um... Probably that's not gonna happen, right? That's probably not gonna happen. Okay, I think we just go. Oh, wait, you know what I just realized? We don't need to leave Curved Horn behind, I hope, because I don't think we're unlocking any characters. We're just going down there to fight Dogma. We've already unlocked. There's no such thing as Tainted Tainted Azazel, right? Right? Please tell me there's no such thing as tainted, tainted Azazel. I'm gonna go forward under that assumption. I'm gonna move forward under that assumption. I'm gonna keep Curved Horn. I know it's gonna mean no key shard. Unless we happen to randomly find one. I know it's gonna mean no key shard. Already grabbed our item. It's gonna mean no key shard, potentially. But also, I think that's fine. Like, I, I think we're totally okay with that. Because um, I don't think we need to open anything. Now, we do need to... <clears throat> we are not just unlocking a tainted character. We do actually have to beat Dogma. Uh, which means HP is concerning. Um, and we are going to want to try to farm Spirit Hort's... That's pretty amazing for me. That's a nice spirit heart. Thank you. 
you're gonna want to try to form spirit hearts where possible <sighs> what's the easiest way to do that honestly these early floors are pretty easy these early floors are pretty easy so i i think you do your due diligence and then you cry because you got a shot speed down but we know at least one of those is an hp down which for us right now would be an hp up so I think you continue to look nonetheless. Does BFF boost? Does BFF boost the effectiveness of the candle? Obviously, it's going to make Succubus even better, which is wonderful. Does it make my candle better too? I don't know how it would. Like, better stat upgrades, potentially? Or maybe it, uh, it charges faster? I don't know. We haven't taken a hit in a little bit, so... Thank you. I was going to say, could you blow this up for me? <laughs> it's very kind of you. Hanging man does not help. We got the Suicide King card so early and uh, unfortunately just no opportunity whatsoever to use it. I mean, it basically requires you to have respawn of some sort. Uh, unless you just want to be a silly boy and lose. Which I don't, by the way. We've lost a lot lately. I'd like to win. Which is why I'm not using Data Miner. Um... But it's sad that we didn't get uh, any sort of extra item. I mean, nine lives is probably the one we were hoping for since we already had one guppy item, but never came to fruition despite popping in all those deals with the devil. It could still happen. I mean, it's there's always a possibility of a red chest in any random one of these rooms. Unlikely, but possible. I like where we are, though. I feel, I feel pretty decently about this. Certainly better than that last Azazel run. It is miles better than the last Azazel run, which isn't saying much. Uh, I will probably be a smarter boy and never pick up anti-grav again. This is just a great room for us. Just a wonderful room. Thank you so much. We are, we are making HP hand over fist here. This is a great demonstration on compound interest. I've been reading. Okay, so we're going to get a little deep here, a little personal. Um... I have not read a book for fun. Well, for fun, like pretty much ever. But I have not read a book essentially since I've been out of school. And I get roasted for it a lot. I don't think we want Metronome either, but I'll take it over Data Miner. I get roasted for it quite a bit. Um, I think because typically, you know, those who read are considered to be, you know, it's like a sign of intelligence. Like, oh, I read. Um... Which is fine, but since I haven't read a book in the longest time, I, I'm just like known as not the dummy in the friend group. Okay, I don't think Suicide King is going to work. So we are going to keep Strength and Sun card. Um, but definitely like we, we played a game as a friend group the other day where you have to like... Oh, I did leave a trinket behind? I guess I'll bring it just in case. <laughs> I don't think there's a tainted character we can unlock. I'll bring it just to be safe, though. Um, we were playing a game where you essentially a card goes in the middle, and it's like, uh, get, which person here? It's like a, it's like a get to know your friends or like a get to know what your friends think about you kind of thing. It's like, which person here do you think has skinny dipped? And then you put down everyone gets assigned a number, and then you put down the number of the person who you think did the thing. Um, and I don't think we need cracked key. I don't think we need it. I'll be honest. I don't think we need it. Um, the one when we were playing popped up that was like, who do you think would have the most trouble reading a book? And every single person picked me. Um, so I took that personally, and uh, I've been attempting to read a book. Now it's been about a month, and I'm like 30 pages in, so were they right? Yes. <laughs> but not because I don't know how to read, mostly because the book makes me... I don't think I'm a pessimist. I think I'm a realist. And I think I, all, I can sniff out BS fairly easily. I am reading... I don't know if I would describe it as a self-help book. 
but it kind of is. It is called the Slight Edge. Um, it's like, it's a very like, it's a business people kind of book. It's like seven, seven personality traits of successful people. Kind of, it's like some dude who got rich, who's like writing a book being like, this is how I got rich. Here's how you should do it too. Um, I got the book while I was working at a startup company and the startup was like your typical like frat bro startup kind of guy. He wore toe shoes. Um, he gave me the book. It's called The Slight Edge. And it's about... They, they won't shut up about compound interest, first of all. So I'm like very tired of hearing that term. But they talk about compound interest. The compound interest of your life, it's called The Slight Edge because it basically, they could have summarized the whole book and I'm only on chapter three, so maybe it's gonna get better. But it's like 300 pages and the premise of the entire thing is like, uh, basically like if you wanna make a change in your life, it's about the small incremental things you do versus like big sweeping changes. So like if you wanna lose a lot of weight, it's not about like, it's not about Oh gosh, starving yourself or like, I'm gonna start going to the gym 10 days a week. It's about like, I'm gonna start working out one day a week. And then you build that habit. And then you say, okay, well that's going pretty well. Now I'm gonna up it to two days a week. You build that habit. They slow incremental changes so as to not burn yourself out. Same thing with like, um, if you wanted to become a morning person. You wouldn't just be like, I'm gonna start waking up at 5.30 a.m. If you're waking up at 7, you'd be like, I'm gonna wake up at 6.45, I'm gonna wake up at 6.30, I'm gonna wake up at 6.15, etc. Incremental changes to see success in your life, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, but he keeps using these stupid allegories that as you're reading them, uh, maybe I got 10,000 IQ, but I'm like, I see where you're going with this particular point, and I'm just here to let you know that I hate it. <laughs> oh... Like he did the, there was a story, there was a little allegory at the beginning yesterday of this hyacinth flower that doubled every single day over the course of a month. And for the first 25 days, mom's wig, it looked like there was no change whatsoever, but because of the way compound interest worked, it took over the whole lake at the end. And it's like your very stereotypical self-help. Oh yeah, there's no red door here, so we did not need crack team. I don't want to say Garbo, because Garbo feels rude, but that's why it's taken me so long to read it. If any of my friends are out there watching, it's not because I'm stupid, I'm smarter than you. That's not me saying that, that is simply a quote from I think you should leave. Okay. So this run's doing pretty okay for us. Broken modem, most certainly, they were not kidding. It is, it is a lot better now. It is significantly better. Now I just realized I think we're gonna lose, because it, it technically counts as two phases. We are going to lose the strength card and the magician card as soon as this fight ends. Which is a darn shame, because it's doing really good for us. And this is probably the easier of the two fights. Although, Magician card probably comes in more handy on this fight, just because we're, like, kind of shooting him at some weird angles. Uh, whereas the Beast fight, you're pretty much always facing him straight on. Now, if the game wants to let me keep these bonuses, that would be... Frick. That would be sick. We are also... We just lost our Candle bonus, which sucks as well, but... It's okay, we got a lot of HP going into the Dogma fight. Got a lot of HP going into the Dogma fight for the first time ever. Yeah, we lose our Strength card. Oh, and because this goes infinitely, we actually don't get any benefit from Rubber Cement. Um, <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Um, basically just a normal run at this point. It's a normal run, but we do have a lot of damage. Um... It's a normal run, but we do have a lot of damage. So I cannot be upset. Plus, we have Succubus. Look at that. We had to, like, six-phase that guy. The, the last two times we've fought this guy, we've had to, like, six-phase this section. It feels so good to just be able to, to murder things. <laughs> it's, it's been a long time since I've been able to murder anything. 
Yeah, we've been weak for a, a dang long time. It feels so good. The piercing shots are obviously amazing. The piercing shots are obviously fantastic. The infinite range is obviously fantastic. I mean, look at this. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Our succubus is so strong. He's just like murdering stuff on his own. I got a bunch of small little... What was that screaming sound? Like a toilet flushing. Got a bunch of little small snake babies that are just doing a bunch of good stuff. Oh, baby. This is why we play Isaac. Look at Robo Baby doing his best. <laughs> Look at Robo Baby trying his darndest. You love to see it. It just... Whoa, golly. I just spiked that thing like a dang volleyball. It just feels good, to be honest with you. It's been so long. Oh, you jerk. That's only our first Holy Manta loss, though. It's been so long since we've had a sweet run like this. That's unfortunate. Just feels good to be back. What the heck was that? Okay, calm down, calm down. You're not out of the woods yet. You're not out of the woods yet. You still gotta bring this one home, baby. Still gotta bring this bad boy home. You can do it. Just a death fight. Okay, bad damage. Horrible no place to dodge. Okay, okay, broken modem causing me some issues on this part. Okay, issues. Fudge. <laughs> I popped metronome just to see if it would save me. It did not. You've got to be kidding me. Why didn't I save the strike card? Metronome did not save me. I'm sweating like a dang monkey's uncle, dude. Oh, broken modem. Oh, broken modem, you gotta stop. <laughs> broken modem. <laughs> He can't do that ever again. <laughs> Never again, man. Okay, we are weaker than I thought. Broken modem, what are you doing? <laughs> are we ever gonna win again? <laughs> oh, all this sweat for nothing. <laughs> I've lost my touch. I don't know what it is. I don't know if my brain's in vacation mode. I've lost my ability to beat anything. I can't, I can't win. I can't, I can't. We didn't do anything on his post-it note. We did zero. Oh, why try to make dogma work? Why try to make dogma work? Well, you could have, you just used the strength card on the second phase of the first phase, you would have beat it. Yeah, I know. Oh.
I mean, that's just a good run. I don't know how you lose that one. I'm truly broken. All right, it may be time. This may be the last episode I record until post-vacation. It might be time to give the brain a little Isaac break. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider some support down below. Like and comment, subscribing, help out great this year. And grandma, there's always that. Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully I'm fixed when I get back from Florida. See ya.